sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start off with copper today. Uh, but before we do that, I want to make an announcement. Tomorrow's guest will be John Person, uh, one of my dear friends from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. He was a floor trader during the time I was there. Runs a great service. It does really good work with the Dow Jones and a lot of other things, too, by the way. But uh, And then also on Wednesday, we'll have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. And I believe with a tiny bit of luck, we're going to have Peter Elides of Elides Stock Market Cycles. And that will be on Friday. That's uh, still tentative. And possibly even Joe DiNapoli on Thursday. But that's, that's kind of pie in the sky right now because really difficult. To view him. So let's get back here to the. Uh, hold on one second. My uh, e my uh, uh, limit minder is just going off. I don't know why. I didn't think I had it set at anything. Hold on. Let me see where we are. Oh, okay. Good. There we go. No, it's just uh, one of the things I'm just looking at here, folks. Uh, bear with me here. I've got to turn this off. So just give me one second and we'll be just fine. Okay. Hold on just a minute. Okay. Here's where we are. All right. This is the copper, folks. As you can see here, um, if you look at this double box up here, you see this double box. The reason why I put that there, if you go to the far left, you'll see that was a 61% retracement on the long-term weekly. So I put that notation in so you can see that you're making a beautiful three drive to a top pattern. Drive one, drive two, drive three. Now, if you reverse that, look what's happening now. The mirror image of this pattern right here. You see the mirror image of this? is right there. You have three lower tops. That's a one, three, five pattern. If you cut these out and pasted them, you would be able to put these on the old refrigerator there in Westlake Village, and my daughters would color them out just like they've done here. And uh, it tells you that there's a lot of harmony in the markets. But we have a beautiful one, three, five pattern that stopped here of Wednesday of last week. We've dropped about the 11 cents in copper so far, and that, that, that took about five... Uh, you see, how many weeks did that take? Eh, it took about three weeks to make that high, and they gave a third of it back in just a few days. So we're almost at the 382 level here in the copper right now. I'm going to go through a bunch of different charts today, folks, because I don't do stocks very often, but I'm getting a lot of requests for stocks. And so I certainly want to cover those for the folks that have asked them. But one of the first things that someone has asked us is about the trade we were looking at in the uh, natural gas and I wanted to show you the difference here of what actually occurred and what was happening because we happened to be in the July contract and they started to roll over uh, today and so the difference was ten dollars in other words the August was ten dollars more so you can see the August was up here whereas the July went exactly well it went a dollar and a half above the number of course it's below it now but it's completed it we were long from down in here this is a substantial move folks and uh, well over three thousand dollars and now we've reversed and we've gone short with our stop uh, eight points above the high that uh, was made today so so far it's starting to work very marginally of course but it's starting to work but here again this is a perfect a b c d pattern right here we have another perfect a b c d pattern right here the difference here is the rollover in the august and so all you're looking at here is drive one drive two drive three and the bottom was a one three five pattern that's all that was all we're doing is looking at those, making it simple as possible to try to get in and not risk very much. Now, when we look at some of these high-tech stocks, you know, they had some nice bottoms down in here. But, boy, when they run like they did, they run without me because I have a hard time, you know, chasing them. And, boy, 
that can usually be a really easy thing to do, but unfortunately, I'm not a big chaser of these markets or a chaser of anything, rabbits or squirrels or any of those things. And I don't know what the other one could have been, but it didn't happen to me in my lifetime. Okay, let's move over here and take a look at one other that the, the folks have asked me uh, to take a look about, and that is a Tesla. Uh, Tesla has been a situation where it made the exact number of the 61% retracement. Let me get the chart up so you'll be able to see it here. It made a perfect 61% retracement right here, as you can see from the high that we made way back here several months ago. And there's your 78. Both of those numbers came in there at 276. The high on Tesla was 276.99. I know you might think that's hard to believe, but in fact it is. And look at this. It comes along with an A, B, C, D pattern measuring to 273. Remember, mathematics takes precedent over uh, geometry. That was the words of Mr. Albert Einstein, Dr. Albert Einstein. And so that's why we're looking at it. So how much will this come down? I don't know. We're trading around 249, I heard today. And that, so if it makes just a correction down into this level right here, it would still be bullish if it comes in around July 15th right here. Oh, my goodness. You wouldn't want to be short Tesla because that would be a one, three, five pattern. That's what these patterns are. They are predictive within limits, okay, but they do repeat over and over again. That's what we're going to be looking at when we watch some of these stocks because uh, the way they've repeated is truly amazing. And I, you know, I, I, I didn't trade a, a stock all during last year and not, certainly nothing this year. If I do, I usually buy a put and, or, or a call. And, uh, uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm just not into that. I, my, my forte is futures and forex, and that's what I try to keep. I, like Car Curly says in uh, City Slickers, one thing, learn to do that and do it well, and that's what I try to do. I don't try to, you know, uh, make the illusion that I'm able to see the future. I'm not. All I do is to see where I am at the present time, how much do I have to risk. If I want to know the future, I listen to John Jameson. He's as close to anybody to telling us what's going to happen on some of these things. And even he's only right about 90% of the time. And that doesn't mean he's trading during that 90% of the time. He just, I'll tell you a perfect, perfect example. When they had this coup going on Saturday morning, John says it will be less than 24 hours. I swear to you on my mother's grave, that's what he said to me. He said, this coup will take less than 24 hours. And I said, why? And he said, you'll see it in the news. And less than 24 hours, they came out, oh, we're not going to do a, a coup. And the way the news was talking, it was almost World War III in Russia. So you can't listen to that stuff. You know, I, it just it drives you nuts, okay? All right. Because you've been so kind to me today, we're going to take a trip around the world, boys and girls. When we come back, we're going to start out in Europe, and we've already talked a little bit about the United States here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Asia and look at Hong Kong, one of my favorite places in the whole world. And I love China also. I've been there many times. And we're going to look at those markets to see where they stand in these uh, real hectic times that we're facing here uh, with all these things that are going on in the market. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. That's baby. That's my baby. Be my baby. Come on, baby. Be my baby sometime. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I want to bring up the chart of the German DAX, the favorite of Mr. Tom Hugard, Trader Tom. You'll notice during this time frame right here, this market was basically straight up. We had some very small ABCDs but very hard to pick out. Those kind of markets, I'm going to go down to a smaller time frame and find ABCDs that, I'm, that are tradable. I won't even trade something like this because it's not clear. Now, this is clear. You can see the beautiful ABCD pattern right here at the double top. You make a slightly higher high. You make a perfect ABCD pattern right here, and you start to roll over. And look how much you roll over, and it's still going down. That's a tradable pattern. There's no tradable pattern through here, so I don't even try. Move on to the next one. And that's what we're going to do next. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the German DAX and get it down into a hourly chart, and you're going to see that same pattern blown up, and you want to see something that's really pretty. This is it, folks. I owe this to our good friend Alan Smith over in the UK because he posts this every day for me along with the FTSE. But look at the beautiful ABCD right up there at the top. I mean, just right on the top. And then down she comes, straight down. And what does it do? It make a real nice three drive to a bottom, matching this one right here. Rallied a little bit, and now it's starting. You can see we got all the way back up to here, and we're back down near the lows again. So those are the things that I'm looking for, something that's really clear and that you just don't have to you know, do any wild guessing. Like, try to find the easy ones, folks. You want to be like the cougar. The cougar tries to find the animal that is the weakest out there in the jungle, and that's what you want to do also. And speaking of jungles, now we're going to go over to the old concrete jungle over there in the UK, and we're going to take a look at the FTSE, but we're going to look at this on an hourly basis. And as we look at this, you'll see by the beautiful pyramids or triangles that are done here by Mr. Alan Smith, you can see the real nice 135 pattern right here. Lines up really nicely with the ratios, and it tells you that your ABCD pattern should be coming down here in a few days near a new low. Whether that's going to happen or not, 
You know, we don't know, but nobody else does either. That's the real beauty of this, okay? All right, now that we've gone this, we're going to zip across the country, and we're going to stop in the United States here and take a look what's happening to the market right now. We'll get up here. This is where we were Sunday. We're in the midst of a correction, and on this correction, we expected to get down into this area right here. You notice a 382 retracement here. Most likely, we'll get a 382 retracement here. Really strong support, folks, in the S&P at uh, 40 uh 365 uh, i believe 4365 has really strong support uh am i right i believe that's it 4365 has really strong support because that's a larger abcd pattern that's out there so that's the main thing that you want to keep a close eye on folks i don't know if this is going to be the high for the year or not i don't really care all i know is that high right there that you're looking at, if you looked at the weekly chart, all you have to do is to get the newsletter, trade what you see, and you'll see on the weekly newsletter, that was the exact high within three points. It went three points higher than the exact high on the 78% of the weekly high. That goes back a year and a half. So these numbers work on different time frames, but remember, they don't work all the time. They only work part of the time. If you find something that works all of the time, Please let me know, because that's what I'd like to know. If you remember here on Friday's program, when we were out here talking to you folks, and you can see the time frame that was here. To get it up here, it's the shorter-term pattern here. But we were looking for a 382 retracement to get short, and that came in up here at 44.12. Okay? And we went all the way down, made new lows, way below here, of course, and we bounced around a little bit since that time. Now, in that particular trade, what we did is we lowered our stop down so that we would guarantee 30 points, 30 handles. The reason why is we were risking 10 points. So if you're willing to risk 10, you should be able to make three times that. That's the formula that's in the Floor Trader's Handbook. When you make three times your risk, you're very successful. If you do it over and over again, it's just like in bowling. You're not going to be at 300, 300 uh, roll a game 300 all the time, but you might get up to 225, and that, that'll get you into the PVA, which is the Professional Bowlers Association. I happen to know that because uh, my father happened to be a very good bowler. He bowled a 300 game once and uh, had a couple of games in the 290s, but uh, he was a structural iron worker, so that's what his, what his love was. So he, he only... Uh, bold uh, part-time for fun okay now let's move on to another one and this is folks you, you can't get every trade here and here's one that really frustrated the bejeebies out of me here last thursday because i i was you know we were trying to you know work our way in the grains because we had missed uh, the top well you, we didn't get the top but we made a nice piece through the upper as it went into the top but look at the beautiful 78 percent level here in the euro folks and then it just dropped all the way down to the 382 actually bounced off that this morning but to, to miss one that it's that easy it's just frustrating as all heck out so you know and that happens but when i looked at that someone sent it to me said why didn't we do this when i banged my head on the head on the the desk here, like I always do, that's why all these dents are here. And I said, oh, how could I miss this one? Very, very frustrating. Okay, now, folks, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to Asia, and we're going to take a look at a beautiful chart of the Hang Seng Index. This is a weekly chart. You can see how perfectly it picked out the bottom on the ABCD pattern here. You'll be able to see it very easily. That's the bottom right there, the giant A. B, C, D pattern to the downside. Look at the target, folks. That was went 100 points below the projected target. 100 points. That's nothing, something that's trading at, you know, 14,000. Shut the front door. Where does it rally to? Exactly to the 50% of that move right here. And as you can see, we're still uh, meandering down uh, to the downside. These last several weeks have been very uh, tough on the, the uh, Hang Seng. Even though it's had a couple of good up days, they were quickly raced by news coming out of China that things were not copacetic. And here again, there goes the news again. And then the next day it comes out and says, yep, everything looks pretty good. So how do you listen to what you're supposed to listen to? I don't know. So I don't listen to any of it. I just look at the chart. 
If prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there are more sellers. And somewhere in between, there's going to be an ABCD pattern that I can trade, and that's what I'm looking for. When I got that, I know that's where I want to be, and that's the game that I play in day after day. Uh, not always successfully, but usually more so than not, and that's the, the real key uh, that it, ha it has all to do with repetition and risk control. Number one, risk control. It repeats over and over again. Andrew Lowe's pro proved that in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, and that's where we stand today. So we got a break coming up here pretty closely in about 47 minutes. Remember, tomorrow's guest will be John Person, and on Wednesday, uh, excuse me, that'll be Tuesday. On Wednesday will be Mike Moore, Moore Analytics, and hopefully Peter Elides on Friday. I've got a tentative approval on that, but not quite yet. So we're waiting to see that, and I'm hoping to have uh, Paula Webb coming in on uh, Thursday. So let's take a break, and we'll be right back and take a look at some stocks. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here of the FXI, which is the ETF. Very popular one, by the way, for the Chinese market. I Basically, it's uh, Shanghai-based technical stocks, I believe. And as you can see here, we had this uh, beautiful 
three drive to a top pattern happening a year and a half ago, uh, right about the same time that uh, we were topping in January of 2021. And now you can see it's been going down. Look at this beautiful 382 retracement, folks. You always like to look at those 382s. And we've been meandering lower. You see the lower tops in here, the lower bottoms. That's reminiscence of what we saw here, lower tops, lower bottoms, all the way down. So unless this market really explodes to the upside, it is extremely bearish. And uh, you want to pay uh, close attention to that because, uh, you know, we do supposedly do a lot of business with China. Whether we do any more or not, I don't know. But that's, uh, that's something that you want to be watching. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at uh, some stocks that are in the news. I want to bring these up here because we show them occasionally because people ask questions. But let's just look at this happens to be Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, Apple itself, the largest held stock in the world. Look at the ABCD pattern here, folks. A, B, C, D, accompanied with a three drive to a bottom pattern. Folks, that went below the price by a dollar twenty, and you can see what's happened. We went up and made new highs. We had a beautiful 382 retracement right here, and then the tech bubble, uh, you know, really started to go wacko. And you can remember in here somewhere is where we came out with the. This is a weekly chart. I think it was right here when they came out with the artificial intelligence being the savior of the world. And that took Broadcom and Amazon and Google and Meta and anything that else that had a computer that might have had anything to do with artificial intelligence, took them all going to the moon and, and they haven't even come back yet. So they're still going on. Just to give you an example, folks, how bullish it is. Look at the chart here of Amazon. It's up again today, making a new high with the, with the market still going lower. Look at this. This is a, a beautiful chart and Amazon. And I'm not surprised because I order something on Amazon just about every day. And uh, as a matter of fact, that's what usually it's easy. Oh, I just can't get over how easy it is. And if you have something that you have to exchange, they give you a label and you just drop it off at the, uh, the drop off place and it's done. So it's, it's a really easy way to do business. I don't know why somebody else didn't think of that. You know, who knows, but we'll see. Anyway, you can see all the big ABCD patterns that were here. You had the long ABCD. This was the major bottom back here in October, uh, excuse me, January. Then you had to move up. Uh, then it exploded to the upside. You see how it went above the 78% level. Once it starts to do that, folks, it's off to the races because you don't know where it's going to go. Soon as this ABCD pattern is broken right here, and that's why you know as soon as it goes above it, you know that there's something wrong. And that's what you got to do as a trader is say, ah, I better correct myself here because this is where I don't want to be. I don't want to be on the wrong side of this market. And that's what trading is all about is understanding, you know, when you're wrong, get out. That's been, the first mistake teaches, the second mistake kills. The first mistake is you had the wrong, posi wrong position. The second mistake is you didn't do anything about it. And that's what you've got to learn how to do. As soon as you get it corrected, you're going to be far, far better off. You know, when we have Paula Webb on the, on the, uh, as a guest here, I mean, I watched her day after day because she worked here in this office when Mark was writing the book, Trading in the Zone. And she knew as every, every word that he wrote, every word that he uttered, she corrected it you know, made sure the spelling and the, the way it was used in the sentences, because that's what her expertise was. And, of course, they were soulmates, and they worked uh, wonderful things together. But she knew exactly what Mark was going through. And when, you know, when Mark was unable to, to meet with the client or something, she would come in, and she was just as good. And some people, uh, you know, enjoyed being with her more than they did with Mark. Because sometimes Mark was pretty critical with someone, because if they didn't do what he asked them to do, he says, why do you keep doing things the same way and expect a different outcome? You know, that's a definition of insanity. Because if you keep doing the same thing over and over again and keep losing, you got to do something different. I don't know what the heck it's going to be, but you got to do something different. Hello, operator. You know, that's really all you can do. You know, you don't know which ones are going to work and which ones not. If you learn how to control your risk, you've got something that'll help you learn how to trade. 
because no one knows what's going to happen next. That's for sure. You know, they're not going to tell you what's going to happen next because nobody knows. So you've got to figure out some way in between. You know, that's it. If you've ever read the book, My Own Story by Bernard Baruch, a classic, and he said, I make all of my money in the two-thirds of the move. I don't try to pick a bottom, and I don't try to pick a top. I get somewhere in the middle, and I'm very happy with that. And that was a way that he did things, and by golly, he did it the right way. Another guy that did the same thing was Roger Babson of the Babson Institute, Babson University. He was incredibly talented. He was one of the few people that predicted you know, the big depression of 1929 in the stock market crash. So, uh, you know, he knew what he was doing. But again, he made his money in the middle of the trend. He didn't try to pick the top. He didn't try to pick the bottom. All I'm doing is I'm following patterns. Some patterns lead themselves to bottom picking and also to top picking only because of one thing, folks. That's right, Johnny. A, B equals C, D. That's where it all comes down to. You can't ask for anything more. We just looked at that chart of Apple and uh Let's just look at another one just to see if there's another A, B, C, D here somewhere. Let's take a look at, uh, let's see, to get old softy up here because it's another one that uh, has a nice little A, B, C, D pattern in here. This is the one that is really uh, responsible for the big move up in AI along with uh, Broadcom, AV, Geo, and then also NVIDIA. But look at this beautiful Look at this three drive to a bottom pattern here, folks. I even drew in the, you can see the cycles here down. In other words, from the high to the low equal to the high to the low. That And it goes to within a, a $1, went $1 below the D point. And then what does it do? It goes up and comes down and tests it again. And then away it goes. This keeps going and going. See, once you get above here, the jury says you're wrong. And if you're short, you better get out of Dodge. Now, the difference between what I do and what Tom Hugart does, when he sees a breakout like this, he goes with it. He'll, he'll really start buying as prices start going higher. He'll keep buying as they go higher and higher. And then when the market does reverse, he'll be stopped out. But by then, you know, he might have put on three or four different positions. And that's how he makes such a huge fortune when he's trading is because he presses on the downside. Just like on a move like this, when it starts down right here, look at this nice one, three, five pattern that you have, a perfect 61% retracement here. You start selling here, you know, that's a life changing move here if you can do something like that. I, I, don't, I don't press it to the downside. I'm looking to make a nice piece out of the middle without risking very much at all. That's, that's, that's what my whole game plan is. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, let's take a little break, look at a few more stocks. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open. 
to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I'm going to take a look at NVIDIA. Uh, never didn't know what this stock was until this big gap here. Then I realized it was related to artificial intelligence. But look at this bottom down here, folks. For heaven's sakes, look what it's done. It moved five times. So all of a sudden, people start to realize that what they have must be pretty good. And, of course, this is where the earnings came out right here and knocked the socks off the stock and exploded higher, and it's still going higher. So, you know, that's – look, you have some very nice A, B, C, D patterns in here, of course, whether you're able to have the courage to buy them on these small pullbacks. I don't know, but they repeat over and over again. There's one here, one here. This is a larger one right here, but that's part of the head, shoulder – shoe, excuse me, shoulder, head, shoulder pattern, head and shoulders pattern, and that pulls back right to the 61% retracement right here, and then it's off to the races. And look how it backs off, folks. It just doesn't back off at all. When you start to seeing that with a stock or a commodity, you better pay attention. That means the buyers, the people that know what's going on there, they're willing to step up and pay a higher price for it. And that usually means that it's going to go higher. Try to find one that's real easy. This isn't an easy one. You know, Look if you'd have shorted this into earnings, which – Anybody that recommends shorting or buying into earnings, either buying or selling, is you better know something because you can see what happened. It opened 25 uh, – uh, wait, let's try that again – about 40 percent higher. If you remember, that's almost $100 a share that it opened higher, and it never backed off. It never even went into that zone where it opened here. So that was telling you that something was really strong here. It went down to, to uh, 387, and now we're way up in the, the 400 category Without, I think that's what it is, the 400 category. Let me double check. Yeah, 430 or something like that, 419 today. So those, those are the ones that, you know, when you see these occurring, you know, and you're in the stocks, boy, you better work with puts and calls because, my goodness, uh, when they gap like this, you know, it's really crazy. Now, let's take a, take a look at one that was a pretty bad situation on the downside. And that is Netflix. We happen to have someone who is working on our on our car, a car on our house, putting in a uh, a new uh, new flooring. And uh, back here, when it was 700, I was at my machine over here, and he says, "What do you think of this?" And I said, "Well, this is making a three drive to a top pattern." I did the work and I blew it up. I counted the days, showed him the A B C D. I showed him the the uh, floor traders handbook. I showed him the video on it. Yeah, he said, I'll buy it on a retracement. Well, look at these gaps that got down in here. Guess where he sold it, folks? Right there. And he still made a nice profit because he bought it lower, but he gave more than 90% of his profits back, you know, by not lightening up 
up in this area right here. But you can see we went right up to a 50% retracement here, and then we started to back off a little bit. Now, whether that's going to mean enough, I don't know. But uh, we're going to find out very shortly, I would imagine. This is only the fifth day down. We had Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday. So this is our fifth day down. So we're in a zone where we're probably getting ready to rally. There's a big ABCD pattern in the S&P E-mini there at uh, 43 uh, 65, and that'll be something, and that's not very far away from where the low was. The low today was 75, so about 10 points lower. That's going to tell us that we're pretty close to a significant uh, ABCD bounce, and how much it'll be will be uh, give us good information of what we're looking for as a as a potential rally. Okay, now I've got a couple others here that uh, look good. I've already showed you Amazon, and I've showed you Nvidia. Now I'm going to show you Facebook from my closest and dearest friend, that world famous wrestler, <laughs> Mark Mark Zuckerberg. Can you believe it? <laughs> getting in a cage with Elon Musk? Elon Musk is six foot four. He weighs about two ten. Uh, what is a, uh, he's five foot six, Zuckerberg, and he's one hundred and forty pounds, soaking wet, and uh, and he's going to go in the cage with him. Yeah, well, good luck with your. Uh, artificial intelligence and all the other stuff because you're going to need some. <laughs> Let's get this up here. This happens to be uh, meta, but look at this. We had this big ABCD bottom down in here. We had the big gap down. Earnings were horrible. And what do we do here? We leave an island reversal here today where it's whatever that day was way back here. And look at this. It was, goes up and can't even pull back. There was the key right here. Once it could not even pull back to a 382, that told you that we were most probably heading to the upside. And you can see we had another gap on earnings back in here. Slight pullback, not very much. And we closed and are still running above the 78% level here uh, today. So, uh, you know, the, these markets are, you know, they have news. And when, these news, when the news comes out and you're not prepared or not protected, be very, very careful, especially during an earnings time, folks. You know, just because someone comes out and says AI is great or AI is bad, that doesn't mean anything. But the numbers that they bring to you from the company uh, on those days, you don't want to be standing in front of those unless you really have a strong inclination that it's going to go to those price targets or those numbers that we're looking for, you know, each day. That's the real key, you know, to watching some of these things. Uh, we've already looked at Amazon, Apple. Where is Mr. Google? Here it is, Google. Look at this beautiful three drive to a pattern, folks. This is such an incredible textbook bottom here. And we posted this in this room here uh, at uh, Tiger TV. I, I can't remember how many times because every time we had Google, you can see from the high, look at your drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. Count the number of bars in your AB leg. Count the number of bars in your CD leg. You'll see that they are equal. That means that price and time is equal. And that means that WDGAN says, buy it. It's going higher. And what does it do? It starts higher. And what does it do? It makes a lovely one, three, five pattern right here. And then it starts to go all the way up and makes that 66, 61% retracement. It went a little bit higher, but it's quickly you know, reversed and has been in a little bit of a sell mode ever since bouncing off of that 61.8% uh, level. So those are the main things that we're looking at here today, folks. So I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to try to uh, have some guests on tomorrow. Uh, well, tomorrow we're definitely going to have our guest was going to be a John Person. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have well, let's try that again. Tomorrow will be John Person. On Wednesday will be Mike Moore, more analytics. And as I mentioned, we should have Peter Lighty's here on Friday, uh, Thursday. I'm trying to get Alfie Lavoy to talk to us about his cycles program, but uh, that we'll have to wait and see because it's not quite ready. And that's what we want to be uh, moving on here. Uh, someone's asked a question about. Uh, I'll bring the chart up here so we can take a look at it, and that is about the platinum. Get this up here so we can see it. It's been coming down hard. It stopped uh, today, but I still believe it has more to go to the downside. We're looking for a price in gold of hopefully, and I say this with tongue in cheek, at around uh, somewhere between 1905 and 18. 
49. That was a year after the Sutter Mill when they started the gold rush in uh, California. So that's what we're watching here right now. So stay tuned, 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the gold, giving the two patterns that we've been watching here for quite, quite a while. Uh, you can see we have the smaller pattern over here on the right which is the ABCD of the smaller structure right in through here. Okay, and then we have the larger one where you came down and you made the Gartley right up here to 3A2, and that leaves a beautiful A, B, C, D. This is our first choice right down here at 1849. That's what we think it's going to get to. Now, it might make the 1905 and then rally a little bit, or it could go through it dramatically. My guess is it's going to hit 1905, and then have a pretty good rally. But it could also break. Now, I can't coulda, woulda, shoulda. Yeah, three of my favorite cousins. Well, we're going to have to take a chance, a uh, calculated guess at 1906. Okay, that's the target. And uh, that's the 1.618 expansion. Two major numbers there. So you buy it at 1906. You put a $10 stop. And if you get stopped out, you try it down here, put a $10 stop. 
And if that one doesn't work, you realize that this is one of those times that patterns didn't work. And we talk about that all the time. And that's why stops are there, folks. Because if you're not using a stop, you're telling Mother Market, I know more than you do. And if you tell her that, she doesn't like to hear it. So just be very, very careful what you say and what you might ask for. Because if you say it with a great deal of confidence and don't use a stop, you're, you're really getting ready for... Uh, to fail and you don't want to do that there's nothing wrong with failing just get out of the way if you're wrong you know that's what the failure is if you don't put a stop in then you expose yourself to unlimited risk and people do that and why I just don't know but by golly they shouldn't do that and you know that's what you've got to figure out how to get by without uh, not using a stop you have to use them so listen folks Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with John Person as our guest. 